In part two, we looked at what you can do on the Sony Bravia TV, plus we covered some of the basic controls. So if you missed it, you can go back and start from there. So now let's move on to the more elaborate tricks. One of the most useful buttons is the home button. Use this whenever you get lost. It will take you to the main menu items where you can just about navigate anywhere. Just press the home button a second time to return back to live TV. Then we have the return button, which is like a back button on a browser. Click it and it will take you back to where you were before. This little button right in the middle is the selection button. It's a bit like a click on a mouse. On all four sides of it are arrow buttons that allow you to move up, down, right and left. Now you might find that the TV is a little slow to respond, particularly if you have a slow internet connection. Just be patient and wait a few seconds after pressing the button. You can also access the help manual anytime with this button. This will provide you with all the written info you need in operating the TV. Now let's do some exploring. As I said before, everything can be accessed by just pressing the home button. Once there, you'll see a full menu along the top here. Let's go through each from left to right, starting with channels. Here you'll see everything that is currently showing on free-to-air TV. You can also access any of the TV shows that you've previously recorded. I'll show you how to do this in part four. Now we have movies. There are three options which you have to move down and right across to get to. First we have Video Unlimited, where you set up an account and pay to download or stream videos directly onto your TV. You can rent or buy. Then there's Crackle, which provides free videos, although you won't be finding any latest releases here. And finally, if we scroll right across, you'll find any movie you have stored on a connected USB or external hard drive or in your home network. Not all video formats will play. You'll need to connect your TV to your computer network for the network options to work. So let's pop back up to the top menu again and go to album. There are three main options available in the album category. First, there's Play Memories Online, a video cloud service from Sony where you can upload and watch your own personal videos and photos for free. Next is 500px, which is a collection of beautiful images to browse or play on your screen. At the end again is a USB home network option, which is the same as the one we looked at before in movies. You can access any media from a connected USB or home computer network. Now down the bottom are even more options. There's photo sharing where you can wirelessly connect your smartphone and view your pictures on the big screen. Screen mirroring is similar but you can view anything on your smartphone including videos and apps. The media player is another platform where you can access media across your Windows PC network. Now onto music, your TV is not just for watching, but listening as well. It provides several online music providers where you can stream music 24-7, both free and paid. You can also play music from your USB and from across your home network. Just like a smartphone or computer, you can use a wide range of apps on your smart TV. You can also access the apps directly from the app send button on the remote. Some popular apps you'll find available are YouTube, Skype, Pandora, Facebook, general web browser and a heck of a lot more. Go ahead and explore. If you click into an app and don't know how to get out, remember to press the return button. Of course, we have a very handy search. The input option allows you to choose a device connected to the TV. I have my laptop connected to mine, so I can change the screen view between the two. You could also use it to connect and play Xbox, PVR, Media Player, Blu-ray Player or whatever. The Media Server. Here's a quick way to access any USB stick or home network that is connected to the TV. Need to change any TV settings in relation to the display, sound or channel? Just click the settings icon. Help is always at hand through the help option. Here you can access the iManual, customer support and even self-diagnostic information. Finally, the network status will instantly let you know if you're connected to the internet or not. No need to guess. So there you go. We just covered a massive array of options, applications and functions available on your Sony Bravia TV. 
Don't hesitate to watch this video again if you feel it was a tad too much to take in one go. With practice, you'll become more familiar with all the amazing possibilities. So get to know your TV so you can get the most out of it. It's a very smart TV, isn't it, Keely? Maybe even smarter than you, Paul. Below the belt. Well, it's more entertaining than you at times. What do you mean by that?